Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life, part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we end our discussion on introduction of cell. So I think by now you got to know what is a cell. What is a eukaryotic cell and a prokaryotic cell? What is compartmentalization of cell? And what are unicellular and multicellular organisms? So with this basic introduction to cell, I think we can now straight away get into the details of eukaryotic cell. As I mentioned before also that since eukaryotic cells are more complex, they have more organelles. So we will discuss the entire eukaryotic cell first and then later we will take up prokaryotic cell. So let us quickly look at the characteristics of eukaryotic cell. Let us now look at the some of, look at some of the basic characteristics of eukaryotic cell. Membrane bound organelles are present. This is something which is the basic thing about eukaryote. True nucleus, cells with true nucleus that is cells with membrane bound organelles. See this yellow colored structure is one organelle which is surrounded by this membrane. Again this is another membrane. Uh, organelle which is surrounded by a membrane. So that means every cell organelle is surrounded by a membrane. Cell compartmentalization is present. I had already explained about it. The cell is divided into specific compartments. Each compartment is nothing but an organelle and each organelle is going to perform a specific function. Membrane bound nucleus is present. So here you can see this black colored structure. This is nothing but the nucleus which you can see is surrounded by a membrane. Locomotory and cytoskeletal structures are present. So when I say locomotory uh, structures, that is uh, for the cells to move from one place to another, you need some organs for locomotion. For example, cilia, flagella, those are the locomotory organs. So they are present in eukaryotic cells. And also there are some cytoskeletal structures. What is cytoskeletal? Cyto means cell and skeletal means you know the skeleton. The way in human beings we have a skeleton which forms the basic framework of the body. Similarly in case of cells also there is a skeleton structure which forms the base of the cell. So those kind of structures are present. Now we will talk about cytoskeleton in detail that time we will see what are those structures. Genetic material is well organized. So here genetic material is confined within the nucleus and it is present in an organized way. So these are some of the very basic characteristics of eukaryotic cell. Now where do we see the eukaryotic cell? As I mentioned before also eukaryotic cells are seen in the kingdom Crotista fungi, planti and animalia. So these are the kingdoms where we have eukaryotic cells. Now the question is when we are going to talk about eukaryotes, we are going to talk about the cell organelles. So you might have observed that I have been using this term cell organelle quite often. So what exactly is a cell organelle? A cell is made up of components called cell organelles. You can think it in this way that a cell organelle performs the same function in a cell as the organs perform in our body. For example, uh, what is heart in our body? It is an organ which actually helps our body to be alive. Similarly, cell organelles are those kind of organs which are present inside the cell without which the cell will not be able to perform its function. Now a cell is able to live and perform all its function because of these organelles and also there has to be a coordination, a synchronization between the functions performed by the different organelles. All cells have more or less the same organelles irrespective of their function and organism they are found in. Now here we are not going to talk about the cell of a specific animal. For example, we are not going to talk about 
cell of human beings and then again cell of a cockroach or the cell of a plant we are not going to talk like that we are going to talk about cell in general we are just going to talk about one eukaryotic cell and one prokaryotic cell now more or less all the eukaryotes will have similar cell organelles i mean some sometimes here and there for example plant cell and animal cells will have a couple of differences but most of the things will be similar so looking at a cell from a closer point of view as i mentioned this before also you see so many different cell organelles so here nucleolus is also marked as a cell organelle however this is not a cell organelle this is just a part of the nucleus nucleus is a cell organelle so here you can see all the organelles and now our aim would be to study about each of their structure and function in detail now the question is just now i said that all eukaryotic cells will have more or less the same cell organelles so does that mean that all eukaryotic cells will be identical no that's because what i meant when i said that they will have more or less same organelles is that the basic organelles for example when you see any eukaryotic cell they will generally have a nucleus bounded by a membrane they'll generally have a mitochondria they'll generally have uh, lysosomes so things like that will be present but there are a couple of differences which are there between plant cells and animal cells so whenever you compare a plant cell and an animal cell there are quite a few differences so here you can see in this figure this is a plant cell and this is an animal cell so some of the not noticeable differences are in plant cell the entire cell is surrounded by a cell membrane and outside the cell membrane there is an additional cell wall but in case of animal cell if you see there is just one membrane and that is the cell membrane or plasma membrane so this is the plasma membrane but in case of a plant cell you have a plant plasma membrane which is yellow in color and outside the plasma membrane this green colored structure which you see that is a cell wall so in plant cells you have an additional cell wall for further protection similarly the vacuole in case of a plant cell you see it is quite large and big but in case of animal cells it is not that prominent so i am not going to talk about all the differences right now but there are quite a few differences between plant and animal cells however the basic things remain the same for example the nucleus structure of nucleus will remain almost the same between both of them so we cannot say that all eukaryotic cells will be exactly identical now once we are we all we go through all the different cell organelles then at the end we will look at the differences between plant cell and animal cell because then you will be able to understand the cell organelles i'm talking about so here we have a quick differentiation between plant cell and animal cell as i said plant cell cell wall is present which is absent in animal cell in plant cell vacuoles are big and lesser in number whereas in animal cells they are small but they are many in number plastids are present plastids are the one which contain chloroplast because of which photosynthesis happen in plants plastids are absent in animals simple distributed golgi apparatus called dictyosomes single complex prominent golgi apparatus so golgi apparatus is again a cell organelle so the appearance of this cell organelle is different in plant cell than in animal cell centrioles are absent in plant cell but they are present in animal cells so these are some of the prominent differences between the two thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again